Tristan, it's Christmas. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. I hope you're praying your salahs as well as looking to the Quran and Hadith for guidance in your everyday life. If you're watching this video and it's salah time, please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done. Please check out the description section of this video to support the channel. I saw a clip of recent Muslim reaver Andrew Tate promoting and celebrating the Christian pagan holiday of Christmas, which is Haram. What is particularly disturbing about this is the promotion of a religious event that has no significance or relevance in Islam. In fact, even in Christianity, nowhere in the Bible does it state that the 25th of December is the birthday of Prophet Jesus, but more on that later. Already in the West, many Muslims participate in this pagan ritual by having dinner or by putting up trees and decorations and exchanging gifts. I remember I saw footballer Mo Salah doing something similar a couple of years ago. This is simply wrong, as Muslims should not celebrate a calendar event of another religion. These Muslims will argue that their participation holds no religious significance and it's simply a time for family. Well, if that's the case, why don't these Muslims celebrate Diwali? Or Hanukkah. It's because we are not culturally conditioned to do so. In fact, Christmas is more of an atheist holiday these days than it is a Christian one. Nevertheless, we should aim to have the most normal and least ritualistic day as possible on the 25th of December because it has no religious significance for us as Muslims and is in fact disrespectful to our religion to celebrate this day. Whatever reason Andrew Tate or other Western Muslims have to celebrate Christmas, whether it's him seeing it as a marketing opportunity or if he did it out of a lack of knowledge because he has only been Muslim for our around a year. It is not something we should emulate or promote and I hope the Muslims that he knows can advise him of this error. Let's roll the short clip where we see the brother looking more like a Christian mascot rather than a Muslim convert through his use of pagan slogans, dress code and symbolism. Oh top G, oh top G, you're so big and strong. Oh top G, oh top G, hey! There's like 20 of them in a row and I have them organized by blonde elf, brunette elf, I'm all in like little organizations and then we have the ones who sing the high notes, the low note. But how big can elf T's really get if they're really Bruh. small? <laughs> emergency Christmas! It's emergency Christmas! Tristan! It's an emergency Christmas meeting! Goodwill to all men! Some people will see this clip and question Andrew Tate's authenticity as a Muslim, but again, this could be down to a mistake due to him not knowing enough about Islam. However, the use of women and comments about committing zina won't help his case with the global Muslim community at all. All I can say is we must all look at our own sins before we judge others, and I would hope he is informed about this going forward. There's no denying he has done positive things in the name of Islam, but the promotion of a whole other religion, Christianity, that we in Islam view to not be monotheistic because they believe Prophet Jesus to be God astaghfirullah, is a major sin. Muslims believe the original Christian Bible has been changed many times to suit political agendas and to cater for cultural shifts. I've done previous videos on this detailing exactly how this occurred. Please go watch them if you want more depth on this statement. If you look into Christianity, some of the most basic things believed by most professing Christians derive from ancient paganism rather than from the original Bible. Let's look at the roots of Christmas. Druids in ancient France and Britain staged a 12-day festival at the time of winter. They believed it was the high point of an annual battle between an ice giant and the sun god. What is today thought to be a celebration of the birth of Christian Jesus began as the pagan midwinter festival. One tradition of this holiday is the use of greenery. Decorating with green plants in late December through the beginning of January was one of the ways druids honoured and encouraged the sun god at the time of winter. Families commonly cut down trees to bring into their home, where they decorated and displayed them in a prominent place. In the Middle Ages, this ritual of paganism persisted and was eventually adapted and given a Christian label as Roman Catholic missionaries worked to convince people to worship the Son of God rather than the Sun God. In due course, German immigrants brought the practice of decorating trees to America. As you may have already guessed, the 12 days of Christmas of the well-known song owe their origin to the pagan festival too. The date of Christmas was established on December 25th, in order to replace the old festival of the sun god. December 25th was the time to celebrate the unconquered sun in ancient Roman culture also and became the most important god during the 3rd century. The emperor at the time even built a big temple for the sun god in Rome and inaugurated it on December 25th, 274 AD. This date through history has been busy with the birthdays of many false gods like Hercules, Adonis, Buddha, Krishna and many more. Several of these earlier figures are also claimed to have performed miracles and been resurrected 
predicted after three days. December 25th was the last day of more than a week of celebrations in Rome leading up to the birthday of the sun. This involved a lot of banquets and all sorts of parties with family and friends. During this time all social rules were reversed and there was a traditional exchange of gifts. So Christmas as we know it was a direct result of the Roman Emperor adopting Christianity and using it as a means of uniting the many pagan tribes in the Roman Empire of the time under one common religion. A compromise was reached and the pagans were allowed to keep their celebration. However, it would be used to celebrate the birth of Jesus instead and was named Christmas. However, even the Bible is in disagreement on both the place and time of Jesus' birth. In reality, no one knew for sure when the biblical Jesus was actually born and to this day no one does. From that time, many different aspects of Christmas have been added, such as Christmas trees, which have pagan origins as I described earlier, Christmas cards, decorations and lights, which have more recent commercial origins, Christmas presents, partially pagan offerings to the gods and partially commercial, and Christmas dinner. Once again, this has pagan origins going back to the feasts I mentioned. As Muslims, we have two massive Eid celebrations per year and we should stick to celebrating them with enthusiasm and cheer. Both of these have major religious significance in Islam and I hope Andrew Tate promotes celebrating celebrating them now that he is Muslim. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and turn on notifications as I'll be posting new content daily. And until next time, inshallah, Jazakallah khair. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.